Hello and welcome, this is Alistair Christie and today we're going to take a quick look at for loops. I'm doing this as it came up for me today and it was the probably probably the first time I went straight into doing a for in loop without first thinking about uh, for i is assigned one to blah 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 uh, type loop. Anyway, on with the show. I have here a little form with a button in the edit box and in the button uh, what we want to do do is determine if the person has typed in a valid colour, and we have um, three valid colours, red, green and blue, defined in our array. So there are basically two ways of doing this. Um, uh, we're going to iterate over the array and see if um, they've typed in one of the valid colours. And the two ways of iterating over an array are a standard for loop. So Too high. I prefer writing this low high way of doing things rather than saying explicitly uh, one to three because if I add another, you know, an orange or yellow or something like that, um, I don't have to, have to change my code at all. And let me do a simple comparison test. If um, lowercase lowercase uh, e valid color dot text equals and begin and we'll do a valid and exit the procedure. And if we fall out the bottom, we'll say that it's invalid. And if we run that, type in red, which is valid, type in yellow, invalid. Now, just as an aside, if I put a breakpoint, actually, no, I'll put it there and get rid of our call stack and watch list and we look at i it starts at three now we've said for i equals eff effectively one to three uh, but it starts at three and works its way down to two this is just because um, it works out to be faster to do it in reverse um, what we can do however is go into project options and turn off optimizations in the compiler. And if we now run that again, it's Y valid color. Ah, what I didn't do is actually recompile it. So, um, so let's uh, go control F2 and terminate that and let's put a space in there and run it again. And now we're going from one, two, and three, and it's invalid. Now, the other type of loop is, uh, let's say, so we go for C in. Valid colors, uh, is so we for each um, color we uh, go through this loop and it basically works the same. So if we run that, blue is valid, orange is not. Um, and this is a much cleaner way of doing it. And of course, if we added, oops, if we added yellow, um, the code doesn't change, which is, is quite nice in that respect. Anyway, that was all I wanted to show you. So thanks for watching.